headsets. Well, good evening, everybody. If it's a Tuesday night in central Minnesota and it's the fall, guess what? We are back for the 2012-13 sports season on iHi.com. Little Falls Flyer activities, Flyer Media Productions welcome you to this broadcast of the Little Falls Flyer Girls Volleyball Team versus the St. Cloud Cathedral Crusaders. Tonight, live from the Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium, I am Dave Gertz along with my wonderful partner, Leanne Grasso. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to be back. It's good to see you. You just got done with the volleyball practice yourself. Uh, we had a game. We were actually matches. We were in Cathedral. I just got off the bus, and here I am. Wow. And our team's actually, most of them are going to be here. It's middle school night. Nice job. Well, so. you know what? This is a little different team last year than last year for Carmen Johnson. She lost a lot of seniors off of the team. They won the Granite Ridge Conference, but they lost in the playoffs. This year, they're sitting at 7-16. and 16. Cathedral comes in at 12 and eight. Anything you got to tell this girls team to do better than in the past games? Uh, they just have, they're very young. They are, they've improved every game. They just have to be aggressive and have some good passes, lots of good passes. Well, Coach so Carmen Johnson up. coming off a great year last year, a little more disappointing year this year with the girls. We are gonna start this game though with team introductions. Uh, Lynn Guast, our PA announcer downstairs. And we want to thank our great crew tonight. I'll introduce them later on in the evening, but we've got a great crew tonight. The National Anthem being played on tape tonight. And there you have the national anthem that was played by Jonathan Laflamme of the Little Falls High School Band, recorded on the iPad. Very good. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, iPad. We're going to have the starting lineups here tonight. We already got the starting lineups from Coach Carmen Johnson, Coach Glenda Prom from St. Cloud Cathedral. Fort Cathedral. Uh, let's see. Number 12, Jenna Todd. Number 12, Jenna Todd. Number 18, Maria Baston. Number nine, Maria Malcolm. Number nine. Number ten, Morgan Prom. Number this is some four, of the line up here in the program. Yeah, this yeah. must be the non star Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yep, there we go. Here we go. It's cathedral starters tonight. Sophie Harris, number one. Jenna Januska, number three. Januska, hey. Yes, Little Falls name. Number 14, Hannah Holy. Number 15, number 15 Sarah, Sarah Winchell. Winchell. Number 16, number 16 Riley, Riley Middleburg. The sophomore. And number 17, number 17 Maggie Jackson. Glenda, Glenda Prom, the head coach of St. Cloud Cathedral, coming in at uh, 12 and eight this year. For the Little Falls number Flyers, one, the non-starters being introduced right now. Number two, we won't be able to get all these people on camera right now. The Little Falls uh, starting a freshman Laura for game this year too. They're giving out uh, volleyballs to the audience on this middle school night. Good throws by the girls. This is Jennifer Ryan, the starter now. Number seven, Katie, Katie Schulte, Schulte, middle hitter. Number 10, Number 10 Noel, Noel Kurowski. Number 19, Laura Fergine. Number 15, uh, Laura Fergine. And, and Sierra Vernick, number 15. That's the starting Noel lineup. And Carmen Johnson, along with Mitch McGuire. Head coach Johnson 
as we mentioned, a little tough year this year, winning the Granite Ridge last year, this year coming in and uh, sitting with a 7-16 record. <laughs> That's okay. We're glad to be here with you tonight with Flyer Media Productions' uh, inaugural broadcast for indoor sports for the 2012-13 season. Your referees tonight, Chuck Clawson and Mark Herman. And Chuck Clawson, an old baseball umpire, used to ump with him. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the line judge is Mark Herman. We got him. Oh, Brian Lager is line judge. That's right. Lexi Hirsch. So, Brian Rocco and Lexi Hirsch doing the line judging. Of course, in the volleyball games this year now, we have uh, everybody scores a point. Any company can score. Games up to 25. Yes. A little different than when we were playing sand volleyball. <laughs> Anyhow, that's right. That's right. Yes, got it. Exactly. If they have to go to game five. Now, the JV, they played only two games. They got beat two games. So we're starting this a little bit early tonight. 7.15 was a scheduled start time at 7.10. We do welcome you to Flyer Media Productions, Little Falls Volleyball versus St. Cloud Cathedral. Granite Ridge rivals, and St. Cloud Cathedral has had a history of great sports teams. They are the big Crusaders. And we're starting out. And uh, mentioning about Little Falls, Laura Fergeen starting as a freshman. Doing a great job as a freshman, too. Coach Carmen Johnson says she leads the team in kills. I believe that's what she told me. And we're going to go here. Little Falls getting service. And a check in right away, number 15 coming in. Uh, libero, Sierra Vernick. And explain the Libero rule a little bit here so people know what we're doing. Yes, um, the Libero wears a different colored shirt, and they can sub in for anybody for only in the back row and they can pass. They're the main passers. They're great diggers and uh, back in the old days you could only sub one person in for the same person so this has helped the game out a lot too. Well St. Cloud Cathedral serve Sophie Harris, a nice serve. A set and a spike by Noel Kurowski. Suska in the back row setting it up for Jennifer Ronning. Ronning to number 23 for St. Cloud Cathedral. And there's a point for Cathedral. Nice kill for Cathedral. Takes a 1-0 lead early on in the first period. What would you like me to take track of? Well, you I can think? take stats uh, of, uh, I think, uh, how about uh, Little uh, Falls uh. kills and sets and Ooh. blocks? What do you think oh, of that? OMG, no, that's a lot that. of work. Just kidding. All right. Laura Fergeen, ball over the net. Number 15, oh, nice, nice hit lock. by Winchell. Great dig, mm. but it all for naught. Uh, St. Cloud Cathedral scores a second point. Nice dig there. But that was number 10 for Little Falls, Noel Kurowski. And with Ronning and Fergine up front, that's a great block. They had a good block there, but it came back. And Sophie Harris still serving. She's oh. got three points. Cathedral takes an early 3 nothing lead here. Little Falls just has match. to talk. And they got to get those passes right to their setter. Yeah, Little Falls is a young team, like you said. There's oh, only one senior, young. Katie Schulte, two seniors, Noel Kurowski on the team. So they lost a lot of seniors last year. Nice hit by Ronning. So Jennifer Ronning with a kill, and that gives Little Falls its first point, three to one here. I'm with Leanne Grasso, the Flyer Media Productions inaugural fall production. Wow. St. Cloud Cathedral versus Little Falls right here from Little Falls Flyer Gym. Welcome on iHi tonight and on Channel 6 later on a tape delayed broadcast. Nice serve by Ronning. Set. There's a great kill by number 10, Ronning. Oh, that's Emma, excuse me, Noel Krawski. So yep. Krawski with a kill, three to two early on in the first game. Service, Cathedral sets. Nice try and no good, Cathedral gets the point. Number two on that one, Emily Suska. Suska has been subbing in right away. Coach Johnson told me she would come in. And Tristan Zimmerman, number five, will be the second one off the bench. Three serving, Jenna Januszka. And uh, we say Januszka here. Why do they say yeah. Januszka? No, I'm just kidding. Well, we call Januszka Januszka sometimes. Is that a relative, Yes, though? it is. Oh, it's a relative. Where's Jerry? Where's Jerry? I don't know where Jerry is. Oh. I don't see him in the audience. Little oh, Falls down 4-3. Nice serve. Oh. And Cathedral digs it out, puts it up in play. Running. Cross court kill. No good. Oh, that middle spot. Dip. Nice dig by Vernig. Great play by Little Falls. Fergine up there, Libero, 
setting it up. Here's running. And it's a oh, nice. nice. That's nice Hannah Krupke, actually. I'm sorry, that's Hannah Krupke. I thought that was running. What? No. Number nine? Number nine is. Uh, uh, she was just uh, left. Uh, I just lost my person. There's Ronnie. Ronnie's out there, yep. Yeah. She's number eight. I thought I saw Hannah, uh, Hannah Krupke out there. Ooh. <laughs> Little fall serving, Kurowski. The jump serve. Look Beautiful at that. Beautiful serve by Noel. Wow. Little falls up 5-4. They take the lead in this first game. Kurowski gets another serve. She gets up high it's on that It's amazing, serve those again. jump serves. She has so improved this year. I'm so impressed with her. Nice serve, an ace. Woo. Two aces in a row for wow. Kurowski. Little falls takes a 6-4 lead. You know, it was a rarity, anyone doing jump serves. Now you see them all the time. It sure has. Well, it's changed the game. Look yeah, at the speed of that has. ball coming over. Kurowski finally gets one returned by Cathedral. Nice Saved dip. by number 15. Oh, Sarah nice Vernick swing with a nice by one. Pullman. And that was who? Pullman. Pullman. Kendra Pullman. Kendra. Pullman. Yep. Good she's kill by there. Pullman. And she's, Seven only to four. So she's only a sophomore. And she played a little bit last year, mm -hmm. too. Coach yes. Johnson put her in quite a bit. So Kendra Pullman with a nice kill. Kurowski with her third service point, and it's out of bounds. So Kurowski picks up three for Little Falls, seven to four in the first game of this match between Cathedral and uh, Little Falls. Granite Ridge rivals now. Nice serve, boy, number 23. Uh, 23 for Cathedral, I do not have her name here, so we'll call her 23. Okay, Second okay. service, seven to six, Little Falls up. Oh, she's Beautiful good. serve. Nice. Off the net. Oh. Another point. Now that was a hard serve oh. by 23. And it's now tied up seven all. First game, number 23 oh, serves again, boy. out of bounds. She's got a wicked arm. She does. Big wicked arm. Number three on St. Clair Cathedral's Jenna Januska. She is 5'11". She's a tree, and we have uh, Ronning serving now. Steady serve. Nice return by Cathedral. And oh. a kill off of Kurowski's head for the point. Tied it up 8 8. Cathedral and Little Falls, neck and neck right here in the first game. So they will switch sides between after this game. Yes. So they, there's no court advantage on this game. Nice serve again Ooh. by number 15, Sarah Winchell. And Winchell takes it in the back. Set, kill, block. Oh, nice block Katie Schulte. Schulte. Nice job by Katie Schulte Ooh. for the point, nine to eight. Little Falls just under halfway to victory right here. Uh, substitution, Emily Suska out. And number 19, that is Laura, Laura Ferginian. Laura, one of my advisees. Oh, oh nice. beautiful kill by number 16. That was Riley Metalberg. Beautiful kill. 9-9 nine, nine, tied up here. First game of this match between Cathedral and Little Falls. Thank you for coming up, and that ball hits the net, and that'll be Little Falls. And you get a point for hitting the net, too, right? Oh, uh, yes. They just did. Yes, and that I was just another want to clarify. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 as long as it goes over. Yes, exactly, and it went over. So it's 10-9, Little Falls. Kendra Pullman. Oh, she's got a good She's got a serve. wicked serve. Oh. Ace for Pullman. Two aces, Pullman with one ace. 11 to nine here. I'd like to say I taught her that in seventh grade, but I'd uh, like to have you say that too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say I have land in Florida too. Oh, so. come on, Dave. <laughs> oh my, did Pullman. you see that? Big oh. serve by Pullman, returned by Cathedral. Libero set. Nice dipsy doodle over by Kurowski. Set. The kill shot by number three, no good, Jenna Januska. Nice set. Laura for game with a oh, beautiful kill. Recovered by Cathedral, they get the point. Whoa. And guess who? Jenna Januska. Januska. Yep. Sounds like the old basketball team. Januska, Januska story. Januska, yes. Number 15 serving, Sarah Winchell. Uh, Cathedral is down by 111-10. Winchell, nice return, good set. For game, Ooh, out of bounds. Well. Laura, just a little bit, a uh, little too low yeah, on the net. Yeah, I thought well, it she was jump. tipped, but it wasn't. Oh, yes, yeah, oh. she's worked hard all summer, and her vertical's gotten 12-10, Little Falls up by two. Katie Schulte to serve now. Nice, easy serve by Katie. Set, Janushka with a big spike. Set, Kurowski, 
backcourt return. Number 23, little oh, dip over nice the net. Dip. And there's a wide open court for Cathedral, but Little Falls coming back. Good tip by Little Falls. Janushka touched the net. Oh, no, Little Falls touched the net. Couple that's a penalty, and uh, that's a point. Couple good digs by Wodarski. She had her arms out there. That's Stephanie Wodarski. Yep, mm -hmm. Steph Wodarski. 12 11, Little Falls up by one. Referee Clausen giving the go ahead. Serve. Set. Oh, that's tight. Wardarski's doing a great job setting, and that's another point for Cathedral. 12 11, 12 12 now, tied up here. And number one serving Sophie Harris for Cathedral. Short serve. Oh, oh boy, just went over the that, net. That was a floater. What do you do with that? Wow, and you can see, well, you can't maybe, but the coach is telling her what areas to serve. Because you can see there's big openings in the floor. Yeah, exactly. and the coach kind of picks people out and tells them. So Harris with an ace, short ace, harder serve this time by Harris. Dig, set for Gein, puts it over the net. Gives him a free ball. Number 14, Hannah Holine. Big kill. Oh, nice. Janushka. Vernig. Oh. And no way. Vernig had a nice try, but Janushka with that big, big right arm. She's doing kills with both arms, Jenna Januska. Is that a timeout here? 14-12, uh, to 12, St. Cloud Cathedral's taking a two-point lead here. We want to welcome you again to Flyer Media Productions of Little Falls Volleyball versus St. Cloud Cathedral. We've got a great crew here tonight. Our camera people, you can see them right over here, Leanne. Oh, yeah. Over there on camera three, Alex Wurzeka, along with uh, Shelby Neuter, Rick Wogan on camera two, Brandon Harnack on camera one. Up in the studio, we have uh, River Stumpf, Oh. Phoenix Weiss, Emily Donaski, Jerry Abraham, of course, up there, oh, and Jerry. Eric Van Ark on graphics. That oh, sounds like all my old students. It is. They're all your old students. And wow. the timeouts here are one minute long? Or they're, they're yep. not three minutes long. That's three minutes between matches. Yes, between games, about right? one minute in between. And Got you're it. allowed two timeouts per game. Great. Unless it goes 24-24. And, of course, they play the best of five. And uh, Little Falls has come up on the short end a couple times this year. I'm looking at their Central Lakes, or excuse me, the Granite Ridge Conference stats. Albany is in first place, followed by Mora, Zerman, and Cathedral in third. Little Falls in fourth place with a four and five record. Hey, that's not bad. Like I said, they're young and they're improving. It's Sophie Harris to serve again. She's had two, uh, one ace and one win serve. Harris. Oh, oh nice dig. stick. Oh, Couldn't nice do it. Try. Number 25 just could not hold on to that. That is uh, Sierra. It's not Sierra Vernick. I don't have Which her one? number. 25 back there. Substitution in here. Nice serve again by Harris. For Gein. Blocked by number three. Guess That's who? Janushka. 15-13. Now, do we know if they played each other in a tournament or anything? Let's is this see the first what I've got here. Met? This is the first time they've seen each other oh, okay. this season. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. And Cathedral running 12-8 uh, oh, and eight with their record. Nice serve. Beautiful serve. Siska with an ace. 15-14. Little Falls down by one. Serving now. Suska. Emily. She's a sophomore. Lots of sophomores on the team. Big kill by oh. Januska. Well, there was nobody in the backcourt, and Januska, she far towers over just about everybody on the floor. I don't think Little no, Falls. No, there's a, well, well, they have a 6'2", but she hasn't been in. She's oh. not in, but Jennifer Ronning oh. on our team is probably the tallest matchup. Yeah, today. you're right, and for, yeah, probably Ronning, but we don't have our Boy, good kill try by Kurowski. Set by Suska. Kurowski pushes it over the net, tries to dip it in. No good. And Cathedral. That was touched by Little Falls, it said. Oh. Uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, out of bounds, but it's not. 16-15. And Kurowski back to serve. Noel, big jump serve. The barrel hit, set. Big block oh, up front. Oh, beautiful. Nice oh, job. almost another one. They Kendra got it. Pullman with a block. <laughs> Pullman pushes it over. Back to the barrel set. Oh, and Janushka bad carried set. the ball. That is a point for Little Falls. 16 wow, off. Wow, this is just here. like close, close, close. Very close. Vernick looking for some coaching from uh, Coach Johnson. Oh, and the service oh. no good by Kurowski. And that is a point. And the reason, Leon, they did the service points, not no net balls anymore. It makes the game a little faster. Oh, definitely. Yes. No, the whole game forever. is so much. It's quicker, quicker, quicker. 
Number 23 serving. I uh, do not have her name again. 23. Set. Nice oh, kill. Power. Good dig by 23. And Janushka. Set. And ah. that's in. Boy, Jenna Janushka just has a touch to get that ball in the backcourt. Nobody could touch it after that. 23 serving again. And she's a senior. 18-16. Return, boy, oh, a no, too far. Oh, no, you can't oh. do that. Oh, yeah, you put that up and... We always used to say that. Was that in the right spot? Did I give it to you just right? Ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. She Happy did. birthday. Happy birthday. Number 17 with a spike on that one, Maggie Jackson. 23, again, nice job by Vernick digging that out. Ronick, out of oh. bounds, boy. Little falls, lose three points just right in regroup. a row. Just got to regroup, yep. 20 to 16 right now. And another thing that they did to speed up the game is, as you can see, like a lot of time they're setting the serve. Yes. And back in the day, used to call that a lift. They you said couldn't you couldn't. That. No, yep. not really. So that has sped it up a lot well, too. Well, are these more Olympic volleyball rules? Kind of stick with oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it all started out with JOs back in the day. JOs used to do all these rules way before even school ball did, and then finally it all got caught on. But yeah, they use this in the Olympics. They, Everybody's on the same page now. Well, it makes it a lot easier when kids go from here to college to yes. J.O. Olympics if they want to. 21-16, mm -hmm. boy, four more points, and little Cathedral will have a win. Nice set by Wardarski. Beautiful rebounding kick back by 23. Over the net, set, Wardarski. Uh, boy, just not enough spike in that no. kill. Boy, Cathedral's having a hard time with the ball, but they're getting it back. Set, Wardarski. Little fake kill by number 17. Oh! Kendra Pullman, and Pullman's out of position, and boy, another little touch over. Oh, they use the tape. Yes. <laughs> Zip. 22-16, <sighs> little falls on a 6 nothing mm. uh, deficit here. And that's oh, a net fall, no good. Little ball gets a point. Right, that's that hard server, 23, Michael that Jordan, is. or whatever her name is. Whatever, we don't have her name here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Coach Glenda Prom here, very happy with her cathedral performance right now. 22-17, three more points for uh, Chris, the Cathedral Crusaders. Oh, oh what boy. a kill. She got up. That is uh, not Januska that time, that was number Metalburg. 16. Yeah, Metalburg, Riley. Riley. And number 15 serving, Sarah Winchell. 23-17, Cathedral up. Oh, and there's a tough one to return. Karowski trying. Vernick's got to get it over, set. Oh, Pushes look at that. What that, a nice play. Oh. Now that's watching the court. Definitely. Good court presence. Sophie Harris yep. with game uh, game point here. 24-17. And we got a timeout called by Little Falls. Coach Johnson wants to talk it over. And, uh, you know, she did lose a couple of great players. Uh, uh, Jennifer Hortness last year. Yes. Uh, she went on to play college ball. She's playing college ball. Elena Kabanak. Elena Kabanak. Um, There's a whole bunch have? of them. Come on. I feel bad. Hanowski, I Jessica Hanowski. Oh, yeah. She was on the team. Lost her. And Little Falls walked away with the Granite Ridge Conference last year. And this year, not so much. It's a tough season for Little Falls Coach Johnson. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. Tonight's broadcast is sponsored by Central Minnesota Access TV Channel 6 and Flyer Media Productions, bringing you the best in sports and entertainment right from the Little Falls Community wow. High School. Wow. What do you think of that, We are Leanne? so lucky to have this. This is yeah. awesome. But I love working with you, Leanne, because you add a nice spark of beauty <laughs> oh, to the broadcast. Okay, you want donuts in the morning. I get it. <laughs> I do. 15, <laughs> Sarah Winchell serving game point here. Let's see what she can do. Nice low serve. Good oh, dig. It's a setup, boy. and that's it right there. Number 16, Riley Metalberg took oh. that one home, and we have a win. 25-17 in the first game for St. Cloud Cathedral. And Leanne, your thoughts on that first um, game? Well, Little Falls just needs to get their passes. They need to get it, when they get it set up, and then they just need to put it away. I think once they get those passes right to their setter, it's going to be a whole different story because you got they got strong hitters. They just got to get their offense going and then get some more blocks up. Well, I'm seeing Cathedral take advantage of some loose spots on the court by Little Falls, too. Yes, they are seeing the court, they're dumping it, and Little Falls just has to make sure they dig everything up. I think they're just getting warmed up and they'll be ready to go. Well, Noel Kurowski had two aces that last match, and uh, let's see, it was also Pullman had one ace, and for uh, St. Cloud Cathedral, Jenna Januska, the story of that first game, oh. four kills, and she is a five foot 11 uh, monster on the court, doing a great job for Cathedral. Yes, I just can't, where is Jerry? 
I don't think he's out there. I didn't see Jerry hmm. walking for the, the game. All right. Not a bad crowd here tonight for a little cool Tuesday night. Yes, there was a football game going on out there. Woo yes, I know. Those poor boys. Mm -hmm. Lucky they have padding on. Well, Coach Carmen Johnson, this is her third year. Uh, I believe it's her third year as volleyball coach here. And Mitch McGuire, her uh, assistant coach. He's been around for job. three years, been too, around. yes. So. Yeah, the crowd looking around here. Good There's, and group. they play home on Thursday again. Yes, home on Thursday. And we're, our next broadcast is next Tuesday, oh, right here. Oh, yeah. It's our final broadcast for volleyball of the season. And then guess what, Leanne? Basketball. Basketball. Oh, Leanne will be joining gosh. me for basketball coverage all season long. We have four girls games through the year, and we have four boys games this year. So we're going to do well, a lot of games. Who, uh, oh, good. I'm not doing the boys. No, though, but guess I'm, what? Oh, You'll okay. not believe who is doing the boys games. Our superintendent, Steve Jones. Oh, my gosh. Is doing that's color for me. Great. Yes. Brad Logger's doing the first game, and then Steve is doing the other three games. Whoa, you're going to have to adjust the camera. So Just you're kidding. Gonna, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Sorry, Brad. Anyhow. So anyway. Anyway, cool. That's little, great. Uh, time out between sets here. Little Falls coming into this match at uh, 7 and 16, and Cathedral coming in at 12 and 8. It looks like the conference is being dominated right now by Foley, 8-0 in the conference. And or excuse me, Albany. Albany, the and then where is Cathedral again? Cathedral I know we're sitting fourth. fourth at 6-2. and two. Oh, and what are we? Uh, we are fifth at 4-5. Okay, and five. well, yeah. there you go. It's a close race. Very close. So there's a lot going on. The section mm -hmm. playoffs will be starting here probably in, I would say, four weeks, three weeks. They wow. have to be three weeks because the season's almost yep, over. Yep, after MEA. Yes, MEA coming up here. <sighs> it's already October, Leanne. Can you oh, believe it? Oh, boy. By the weather, yes, but yes. not the time. It flies by. Well, Little Falls coming back to see if they can win the second game. It's the best three out of five, and the third game goes to 15, correct? Yes, and did you notice or mention about our new scoreboard Oh, my here? goodness, Pine Country Bank. Yes. If the, You can get a shot of the scoreboards, uh, one of the camera people, if you can do that. The scoreboard is beautiful, and we are going to have this year, Leanne. It has kills and everything up there. Oh, I don't even does. have to do that. You just look Jeez. at it. got to get the number up there. That's all you need. Yeah. But we are going to get an output from the scoreboard so we can have this right on our Flyer Media Productions awesome. broadcast. You can see the scoreboard. So that will be something we're working on this year. And we're going to start here with the second game. Little Falls losing that first one, 22 to, or 25 to 17. I'm going to mark that down mm. so I have that. Okay. okay. And... Yes, and little in the middle school actually got the old um, scoreboards yes. that were in here, so that They're worked very out nice, well. Aren't they? Very nice. Good I job. I think I know how to use them now. Okay, referee Mark uh, Herman, given the ball and given some instructions. Chuck Clawson, the referee tonight. I'm trying to wave to all my girls over there. I know. Let's I go see girls. Them. We'll get some shots of those girls okay. during some of that uh, broadcast. And uh, let's see, Emily Suska is going to start serving the second game of this best of five. Suska, nice serve. Oh, Ooh, right away, a point. Yeah. We would call that an ace, I believe. That's what Suska. Little Falls needs. Get them going, get them going, get them going. Suska with an ace, and Little Falls leads 1 0. That is nice. It has everything right up there. It's beautiful. <gasps> And this is a multi-purpose scoreboard. So when we do wrestling and basketball, we've got everything. Boy, she decides to overhead number 17, Maggie Jackson. Cathedral puts it out of bounds. Oh. So Suska, two points. Yeah. Falls takes a two nothing lead. Suska's got some curve on that. Very nice. Very nice. Suska, third serve. Number 15, Sarah Winchell. Nice kill try by Winchell. Blocked by Little Falls. Kurowski. Nice kill by Oh Ryan. my gosh, they kept that alive. Coming what back digs. with it. Running with the set. Kurowski with a little dipsy doodle and gets the point. Kurowski wow. for her height, I mean, she, she can sure get up there. Yeah, Noelle, uh, don't, she's got to be 5'6. Yeah. I can't think she's any higher than that, taller than that. Another advisee of mine, and so is Emily Suska. Well, well, so, no wonder you won. Didn't you win the eighth grade track meet with all that? We did. We won. No, we took second place. Oh, eighth grade track meet. Okay. Good kill by number 15, Winchell. Kurowski with a big oh. block. Thought that was good, but no way. Number 12, Jenna Todd coming in for the block. So Cathedral takes their first point, 3-1. to one. Serving for Cathedral number one, Sophie Harris. Oh, I'm sorry, number 31. Another jump server. That's oh, three. Excuse me, that's Januszka. I thought she was number 13. Boy, and Januszka with a big serve. 5'11", she gets all of that ball over the net. 3-2, Cathedral. Is down by one. Little falls up 3 2. Janushka, long stride, hit, 
serve, boy, nice serve by Janushka. Set, Kurowski to the libero in the third row. And Little Falls, oh, line cathedral. ball. Yep, they were over the net. Are they in the net or they were over the line? So, so that's point for Little Falls. Four to two Little Falls in the second game of this best of uh, five match. And here is Noel Kurowski. Beautiful serve. Boy, an ace for Kurowski. That's her third ace of the night. Two in the first set, uh, two in the first game, one here. Little Falls takes a 5 2 lead. Woohoo! I wonder what her speech was. <laughs> I don't know. You know? Get some points. Kurowski <laughs> ball up in the air. Oh, look at. Oh, oh, just misses the net. Misses going over the net. <coughs> no good. So Kurowski has another ace. It's 5 3, Little Falls. Subbing in. Uh, let's see, number 12 Ooh. going out, Jenna Todd. And number 23. 23. That is, uh, we do not know who 23 <laughs> is. I don't have the right card here for 23, though. Doing a good job serving. Set. Oh, Just drops it big. in. Gronick does. Big block. Nice play. That was number six. Running. And she was assisted, looks like, by number four, uh, Wardarski on that one. Nice job. Yes. They're moving better. They're talking better. They're Six to three. Little falls up by three. Ronning serving. Nice serve. Fake hit. Kendra Pullman. She's going to get it right back. Pullman with a kill. Received. Out of bounds by uh, Cathedral. Little falls up seven to three. Mm-hmm. Big rally here by the Flyers in the second game of the best of five. Ronning again. Good serve. Jen's got a great serve, but Cathedral right there to get it. Way oh. out of bounds. Number 17, Maggie that Jackson almost, hit that, that into the stands. That almost took out a, a fan. It did. Call the ambulance. Oof. Ronning, uh, three points already for Jen. I wonder how the ninth grade team, I see the coaches are back. We'll have to ask them. We'll have to ask them what they did. Mm -hmm. Good serve by Jen. Number 16 with a big kill. That is R Riley Metalberg, and good job by Metalberg killing that ball. Metalberg, she is the F511. She Nothing seems five, She doesn't look as tall as Jenna. Number 15 serving, Sarah Winchell. Winchell, good serve. Boy, high up in the air by Cross. She gets those balls high just like her oh. serve. Nice kill by Kendra Pullman. Mm -hmm. And that's a point for Pullman. Little falls up 9-4. They're taking a little rally here. Remember last time we chatted about her mom, Sarah yes, Pullman, back exactly. in her day, man. She well, was one game away from state. Doing now. She's doing scoring right now right I in front of us. I see her. That's, That's right. Mm -hmm. Little Falls looking for another point here. Cathedral keeps it in play. Vernick, nice set. Katie Schulte puts it right where nobody is, and Little oh, Falls nice. takes a 10-4 lead. Yep. Good job by Schulte. She saw the open court and a little. Well, that's what you got to have in mm -hmm. volleyball. You've got to look for where people aren't. Makes the court a little bit easier to hit. 10 4, what a difference. 10 4, what a difference. Big 10 buddy. 4. 10 4, big buddy. So, Leanna, talk a little bit about coaching volleyball at the middle school level. You do a lot of skill training to get them ready for maybe varsity competition. What do you do? Yes. Oh, we just do the basics, and I'm sure they still do it at the varsity and JV level, but a lot of passing, um, getting them down in position and setting, and just try to do a lot of skill work to prepare them. And it's the big cool thing about middle school is that you see so much improvement. Even the parents will say, wow, from the first games to now, because they're starting to click, they're starting to get it. So it's kind of cool they get to see it right here in action, what we're talking about. So. I remember last year taking the iPad in and taping some of the girls' volleyball matches for highlights for the news. Ooh. And uh, Laura Fergine was in there doing her thing. And she's come on really well as a uh -huh. freshman here for the varsity team. Uh, Kendra Pullman, of course, uh, Rob Pullman, Sarah Pullman's daughter, doing a really nice job as a sophomore. And Little Falls is uh, s lots of sophomores on the team. It's unbelievable. That team is probably 50% sophomore. Emily Suska, a senior, and Katie Schulte, a senior this year. Wardarski, Schulte has to put it over. Set by Winchell. Here's a kill coming up and a nice block try. They got a chance to get oh, it over. Yeah, Schulte. Schulte. What a beautiful play by Katie to keep that ball alive. Wardarski, Pullman, oh, boom! Man. She puts it home with authority, 11 Jeez. to four. 
She was way up above the net. That is so, wow. Kendra, what a mm -hmm. nice jump. And look at Little Falls smiling all the way. 11 to 4. They're taking a big commanding lead here in the second game. Wardarski with the serve. Er, Vernig. Pullman has to put it over. Cathedral set. Little dip over the net by number 16, Metalberg. Nice fake. Great dig by number oh, 23. A little carryover looked really good. Little Falls is ready that time. Schulte keeps it in play. Metalberg puts it where nobody is. Noel Krauss has to come away from the back row. Metalberg. Boom! Oh, there is. wow. The that setting nice combination clip. of Harris and Metalberg has been really effective tonight. Little Falls blocked it three times, but Metalberg finally put it home. Yeah, they kind of did a quick set so that Little Falls wasn't ready. But, wow. Beautiful. 11-5. Little Falls up by six in the second game. Nice serve. Here comes. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. That was not the best set, Brookie Finch. Oh, we got Finch in there, yeah. Brook Finch just a little bit, a little bit behind the ball. Set it up really good for the uh, Cathedral team. Number 17 serving, Maggie Jackson. Nice oh, kill. Wow. What a save by Cathedral. The dig set. Brookie Finch. Oop, that was oh, close. Oh, it was close. And Brooke almost had a point, but it was out of bounds. And uh, the line judge, Lexi Hirsch, called it out. 11 to 7. No Cathedral. home court here. Advantage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three, point, three point rally by Cathedral right now. Corral's oh, the back row way no, too no, long. No, 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 we can't do that. 11 to 8. All little right. Falls on a four point deficit right now. Cathedral running. Nice serve. Korowski, Wardarski, Pullman. Oh, and that's in. Got it. Yep. Good call. Good, good kill. 12 8. So a lot of time to go here, boy. This uh, Little Falls was up by five in the first game and ended up losing by eight. So we'll see what happens here. Here comes Kendra. Kendra Pullman puts that oh, ball she, way up in the air. Oh, she throws that high. Look at that Look spin. at the spin on that ball. Oh, my. Kendra Pullman with her second ace. Wow. One ace in the first game, another ace here. Noel Karowski with three aces right now. Kendra Pullman, her second serve, she throws that ball about 25 feet in the air. <laughs> where it comes oh, down. my goodness. What a serve. Unreal. Yeah. Kill. Oh. Nice kill by number three. Guess who? Jenna Januszka. Uh-huh. Januszka. Uh, I count her with nine points tonight. Uh, oh. Kills or on uh, just drops. Cathedral, number 16, Metalberg, ace. Oh, no. Little Falls just has to wow. regroup. Riley Metalberg hit that right between Vernig and Karowski. That's Nobody coming was fast. There. That is coming fast. 13 to 10, boy. Cathedral on a run here. They've uh, made up uh, seven points. They were down 10 to three Oof. out of bounds. Middleburg puts it out, so Little Falls gets a point, 14 to 10. Thanks for joining us again. Flyer Media Productions Fall Sports Activity Start. We have volleyball next week. Then we take a break till November. We have the Flyer Indoor Marching Band Concert in November. Ooh, what? Now that's kind of yeah, late. That's or November is it 11th. Oh, yes. I, 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 was in, I told you I was in the first ever one of those. You, you I think I have in the past. I do every year, but I was. I, I was in that when I was 10th uh, 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 grade. That was when Mr. Trudy was the band director. No. Oh. <laughs> you're just, Dwight. Okay, we got you. Good one. Served by Schulte. Little <laughs> dig back there. Cross, he's got to put it over. Double hit. And this is going to be a point for Little Falls unless Cathedral gets oh, it over, though. Oh, scrambling. What a nice scramble by Cathedral. Ronning just dips it over. Number 23, oh. little shovel and tipped. Out of control by Wardarski. They really know the court well, but again, that's um, a lot of it has to do with Cathedral's an older team. They are. I mean, it's experience. If you so look at their come. lineup, they only have two sophomores on varsity. The JV has a ton of them. Mm -hmm. So you got to experience it. What a nice ace by number one, Sophie Harris. That is her third ace of the night, too. So Harris and Jenna Januszka. And Riley Metalberg, each with aces tonight. Harris, boy, just drops it in. Nobody there, but a good recovery by Little Falls. <sighs> Metalberg, Harris. Ooh. And oh, oh, nothing doing. Number 12, Jenna Todd puts it away. She puts the roof on. 
All six Look two. at this, Leon. 15-13. I know, Cathedral Dave. has come back. Uh, they're a scrambling team. Yeah, they got Cathedral is definitely a scrambling team. Kurowski has to put it over. Good dig by the libero. Oh, look at. Just a nice little dip over the net. Kurowski, kill, block, point. Yep. Cathedral with another out. point off the block. 13 points now. They're giving that to a little fall. What happened? I missed that. Uh, they, they blocked it, it out of bounds. Got it. Okay. Yep. They blocked it out. I thought that was a cathedral. Excuse me for that. 16 13, little falls up by three. Kurowski. Or Emily Suska, excuse me. Wardarski running. Nice, nice. Hits the out of bounds. No, that's in play. Nothing's out of bounds on the ceiling. Noel. Back to Kurowski. Boom. Kill. Block. Wardarski. Back to Kurowski. Pushes it over. Number three, Jenna Januska with a nice kill. Good save. Can they get it over? Kurowski puts it over. Libero number 14, Hannah Holeen. And boom, guess who puts it away? Jenna Januska. Oh. I've got her with 11 points tonight off of kills. Yeah. Four points. She's. And guess what? Cathedral has pulled into within two in the second game of this best of five match. Januska with a serve. Kurowski puts it over. Januska set. Number 17 with the kill. Maggie Jackson. Kurowski has to push it over. Jackson for Cathedral. Januska. Good save by Little Falls. Yeah, Verning's doing a nice good job yeah, at Libero. She's doing really good pushing around the court. Oh, Big kill by just, number 17, Maggie Jackson. We gotta get over there to block her. That's the thing. We gotta yeah. slow her hits down. Well, you know what's happening? Falls. Looks like they're taking their eye off of Januska and uh, mm -hmm. number 17, Maggie Jackson, and uh, Metalberg is getting in there. Nice job by Cathedral killing that ball. 16 to 15. They fought back here. Big serve, Ronning pushes it over. Januska set. Kill shot, and she's got it. Maggie Jackson, another one. And Little Falls now sees the 16, score tied. 16. Well, Little Falls let a seven-point lead go away, and uh, Cathedral's bouncing back here, 16 all, in the second game of this best of five. Wardarski keeps it in play. Kurowski's got to put it over. Januszka, beautiful, beautiful pass. It's tight. Oh. Nice block. No go. And... Oh. oh, boy, number 12, Jenna Todd just pushed it back far enough. Little Falls could not get to it. Wardarski with a valiant effort, but no good. 17-16, Cathedral is up here. Number three, Januszka looking for another ace here. Vernick, Ronning with the kill, just taps it over. Januszka with a nice dig. Number 17, all was everywhere, Maggie Jackson. Big yes, Kurowski kill, Noel Kurowski. That is yeah, her second kill. she's using the block kill. as well. She's hitting them off them. You know, they're, yes. I don't know. It's Well, and you know, that was a definite kill shot. She put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, Pullman coming in for number 25. Zimmerman? Uh, Zimmerman. Yes, uh, Tristan Zimmerman in off the bench. Oh, and guess what? Noel's fifth ace of oh the night. Wee. Noel Kurowski with five aces. Little falls up 18 to 17. Good job by Kurowski. See if Little Falls can pull this up, hang it out. Oh, hang nice. on for the win. Big set, big kill. Oh. oh boy, number 15, Sarah Winchell with a beautiful right-handed kill. Kurowski dove but could not pick it up. 18 all, Cathedral has tied it again. 23, the no-name girl from Cathedral. Uh -huh. I do not have her name. I apologize for that. parents might be sitting right down here. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, they can tell me if yeah. I have their name wrong. That'd be great. All right, nice tip oh, over no. by Cathedral. This looks like it's going to be a point for Cathedral, boy. 1918, Cathedral has come back. Wow. They have They've come back from a seven-point deficit and now another three-point deficit to put themselves in the lead. 1918, beautiful serve, just crosses the net. Ronning? See, we, we can't give them free balls. We, we just can't. keep it putting over. We got to... Set it up now and put her down. Boy, There's Januszka Kendra. Is everywhere on that court. Oh. Out of bounds. The line judge rules that out. It's 20 to 18. Little Falls uh, losing a big lead. Nice dig. 
And there's a point oh, for Little right. Falls. Beautiful try by St. Cloud Cathedral. Number 13 yeah. just couldn't handle it. So Little Falls comes up with the point. 20 to 19. Boy, it's oh. close, though. It's close. It is close. Thanks again for joining us on Flyer Media Productions. We welcome you tonight to uh, broadcast our first of uh, uh, 20 more broadcasts this season. On iHi and uh, Flyer Media Productions and Channel 6, Jerry Abraham, our sponsor. Karen Warner, my partner, is uh, oh. not with us tonight, so we're doing this game in her honor tonight. 21-19, Cathedral picks up another point. Again, they put it right over the block. Just a little dump. And 15, Winchell to serve. Winchell with an ace already, 21-19, Little Falls. Beautiful serve. Those serves are just curving over the net dangerously. Uh. Winchell saves it. It's got to go over by number one, Harris. Wardarski, Pullman, boom. Oh, nice kill by Kendra. Nice job by Kendra. Well, I tell you what, that was a great, great setup to Kendra Pullman. Kendra Pullman uh, is probably the second tallest girl on the team for Little Falls. Laura Fergine back in the game, the freshman from Little Falls, from uh, Baya Randall. Uh-huh. Her dad and mom, both good athletes for Little Falls. Boy, nice oh, spin nice on that by, by number Vernig. 17, Jackson, and a save by Little Falls. Janushka, and Harris just taps it over oh, the net. Oh, nice job. She put it in two, yep. switching it up. Fergine blocked off of Fergine. 22-20, St. Cloud Cathedral, three more points. Boy, Laura Fergine had a good block, and that just went off of her mm -hmm. wrist, out of bounds, for a point for Cathedral. 22-20, number 17, Jackson serving. Oh, Kendra oh, Pullman got nice. fooled by that shot, but a nice recovery. Oh, Big kill by shoulder. number 16, Metalberg, and a block. Oh, they got to get it over. Little Falls. Pullman pushes it over. Harris. Big fake out, and guess who? Jenna Januska. I've got her uh, for 13 points tonight. 23-20, Little Falls in danger of dropping this second game after leading by uh, as many as nine points. Oh, oh, and there's a point right there. There's a gimme. Yep, the gimmies. And if you get to 25 tied, you have to win by two, correct? 24-24. Uh, and Got then, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's in a, considered a tie. Yep. 23-21. Little Falls needs this point desperately. Kendra Pullman with a nice serve. Over to Januszka. Pushes it, it to Vernick. For Gein. Pullman's got to put it over. No set there. Here comes a set. Boom. Big set. Oh. Big kill. Riley Metalberg. Here's game point right here. And Pullman out and number 25, Zimmerman in. And serving for the game is Metalberg, Riley Metalberg. Over, Karowski to Wardarski, back to Karowski. No kill there, but just in Metalberg's hands. Januszka, oh, got back blocked. in Januszka's hands. Oh, nice play nice by block. Little Falls. 24-22, <laughs> Little Falls has a chance to tie this up. Two more points. Coming out, Libero Vernig, and back in Jennifer Ronning. Wow, Leanne, this is getting exciting in the second it's game. Unreal. How, huh. Harris, Januszka, oh, block. block! Harris, Januszka, pushes it over. Nice save by Zimmerman. Fergine, oh. out of bounds. And that's the game for Cathedral. 25-22, uh, Little Falls getting a few more points that time. Yes, sir. Well, Leanne, did what uh, Coach Johnson say to them help? Yes, I'm sure it did. It got them rocking and rolling right away at the beginning of that game. And then, uh, you know, they were picking up things in the middle and they were making their serves. They just have to keep, like they did here right at the end, they were started blocking um, Mettenberg and Januska a little yep. bit. But now, uh, they got to pull it out this next game. Coming in, even the, the big aces that we had from Noel Kurowski uh, didn't hold on till the end of the game. Little Falls up by as many as nine points. And boy, Cathedral still finding holes mm -hmm. in Little Falls' offense and defense. Yes. Well, thanks again hey. for joining us. Flyer Media Productions broadcast tonight, brought to you by Channel 6, Central Minnesota Access TV. You can always call Jerry Abraham if you want something posted. He'll post anything that you have for community events. And also these broadcasts are rebroadcast there 
not live, but on tape. So Leanne, we are seeing around central Minnesota. Well, when um, is it going to be on Channel 6, do we know? He will put that on within the next week, oh. and it'll be on the rotating schedule. Like at yes. 3 in the morning or like oh, nice hours? It might be 3 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the schedule in front of me. Yeah, okay, I fine. Do. I don't I'm get Channel 6 anyway, but I'm just saying. i got to tell all my friends. You tell all your friends and tell all your friends that this is on the Little Falls Community High School website at www.lfalls.k. Oh, yes, it stays on for us. It stays on till we stay on for two weeks at least. Yes. We'll uh, keep it on even longer. Uh, mm. And you can watch it right now. You can watch it rebroadcast. And we want to thank our great crew tonight. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Shelby Neuter. She's sitting over on camera three. Do you see her over there? Oh, she's Alex sitting Alex Borzeka on camera three. Rick Wogan on camera two. Brandon Harnack on camera one. Up in the booth, Jerry Abraham is working sound tonight for us. Phoenix Weiss and Emily Dayaski sharing directing duties. Eric Van Ark on graphics. And River Stump doing the switching upstairs in the booth. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for coming out tonight. I'm glad those people did come out. But thanks for watching us. We really appreciate it. We are in the top 10, well, the top 100 schools in Minnesota for iHi broadcast. Wow. So very proud of that. Very proud of the fact that we can do a three-camera shoot and do a very good job. And how it. many schools do this in the state? There are probably over, I think, 150 or 200 schools that do this in the state. That's amazing. And there's, over the nation, there's about uh, probably 5,000 schools. Okay. It's only been going on for how many years? This is our third year coming wow, in. Wow, it's so awesome. It's and great. We, we're, uh, we're fortunate to have a plaque that we presented to uh, Superintendent Jones at a school board meeting oh. in August for being one of the top 100 schools in Great. The and where is that at? Put up in the school here? Uh, it's up in the studio. Okay. Studio. i got to get up there to the studio and yeah. see the behind the scenes. Uh, so oh. Oh, oh, my Betty's listening. Oh, good. Well, thanks a lot for that. We yeah, that. yeah, yeah. We got Sarah Pullman. She's giving me kudos because yeah. I mentioned her name and now her sister Betty, and that's who I played with. And that's great. Back in the day. Okay, thank back you Back in much. the day when women's sports were just getting on the horizon. Oh, right come now. on, Dave. Yeah, you're right. Here I'm talking about how they used to score. I got to stop doing that's that stuff. That's right. Come on. You're dating yourself. Well, here we are with game three. Now, this game is the best up to 15, correct? Uh, this is up to 25 because it's best out of three out of five Got games. It. Yes, it's if we get to the five, but this will just be up to 25 again. Mm -hmm. And if uh, St. Cloud Cathedral comes away with a win, oh yeah, it's over. over. We hope not. Uh, Little Falls looking for an improvement to that seven and 16 record right now. In the CL, excuse me, in the Granite Ridge Conference. Oh yes, Granite Ridge Conference. <laughs> <laughs> Little Falls in fourth place in the conference. Cathedral in third place. Mm -hmm. So here we go with the game three of this best of five up to 25 here. The referees instructing the players and uh, Cathedral will serve. We will have Sophie Harris. Okay. Harris with two aces tonight. Harris puts the ball over the net. Zimmerman. Schulte has to put it over. Harris, Ooh. and guess what, Januszka with a big kill, starting the game out with a one nothing lead. That is her 14th point tonight. Doing a great job. Jenna Januszka, she's a senior, five foot 11. Boy, Cathedral lined up with seniors on this team. Yep. And Two of the five starters seniors. Two of the six starters seniors, excuse me. Bernick puts it over. Back to 14, Holeen. And out of bounds, okay. Little Falls gets a point back. Yeah, that experience, like you said, Little Falls is so young, but this is going to help them build and build. And I can already tell from the first game I watched earlier in the season how much they've improved, or just even in one year time. It's well, amazing. So That's what it's all about. Now, Coach Johnson thought that was Little Falls' point, but the referee is saying that it went off of a Little Falls player's finger oh, out of okay. bounds. So she's not too happy about that. 2 nothing. Harris, beautiful serve. Vernig has to jump to get that one over. Schulte has to put it over the net. Harris, and a little dipsy duel shot by Jenna Todd. Three nothing. She can sure reach up over that net. I wonder if she plays basketball. Well, I tell you, Todd, vertical. we'll have to look at that because we're doing a Cathedral game this year, oh, too. Oh, boy. Yes. Okay. It's going to be a big game, I believe. The rivalry between Little Falls and Cathedral, I think, will keep growing in the Grand oh, yeah. Ridge. Emily, excuse me, uh, Katie Schulte with the serve. Boy, a little tough dig. Januszka puts it over the net. Vernig, uh, Wardarski, back to Ronick. Cathedral, Januszka, boom. And that was touched. That was touched by Little Falls. No, that was nope, not touched by Little just, Falls. Yep, the point. It was out. Yep. So 2-2. Little Falls ties it up. 
third game of the best of five here. Januszka, big save by Zimmerman. Nice play for Gein, puts it over. Harris, Januszka, right where nobody is. Jenna Januszka has incredible eye presence on this court. She knows where people aren't. Definitely. That's her 14, 15 point I have for Januszka tonight. Three to two, Cathedral up and Januszka serves. Nice serve, Zimmerman. Noel Karowski with that hit. And there's another one by Jenna oh. Todd. She's putting that away with her right hand just barely over yes, the net. Yes, you're right. It's like she's not, I don't know. She's not jumping she's a lot. She's not jumping a lot. Yeah. She's going right straight down. Januszka with her third point here, four to two. Karowski, Wardarski, big set by Ronning. Nice tip by Ronning. This has got to go over. Cathedral puts it in. Zimmerman back to Wardarski. And a big block by oh. number 12, Jenna Todd. And it went out of bounds, so Little Falls gets it back. Okay, four to three. Mm -hmm. Nice block, but uh, Little Falls on the wrong, or Cathedral on the wrong end of that. Four to three, Suska serving. Emily, nice serve by Suska. Puts Holeen way back. Has to get put over right away by Harris. Big hit. Oh. In. It just what? Hit it right on. <laughs> Did you see the spin on that? Whew, no, but and, you know if it just touches a little bit on the line, it is it's in. It's in. It now, too bad in. we don't have chalk so we could see the poof. Oh, yeah, our replay, like tennis. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We're working on getting replay. It takes a little <laughs> bit of time. we got to have that replay operator up in the booth. I bet there's an app for it. There's an app for that. <laughs> Harris, there's an app to do a whole volleyball game here. Little Falls. Has it blocked they're back? Doing a good, yep. They're at least using the blockers now, so they're getting the ball back. A well, little fall squeaking ahead in this one, five mm. to four. Suska. Nice play by Suska for the serve, and a beautiful block. That's Karowski and Ronning. Nice job. They're up six, four. Little falls. Playing heads up volleyball yeah. in this third game. You know, six four. Keep on going at it. They got to keep the pressure mm -hmm. on because they did this last game. Let's we'll see if they can keep up the pressure. Januszka with a nice dig. Januszka, long oh, arm, and that's that inbound. Right. In. Jenna Januszka, that's her 15th oh. point, and she has put five of these where nobody in Little Falls is. She nice just, job by Januszka. Yeah. Six to five. Thanks again to the great crew here, Little Falls Flyer Media Productions, sponsored tonight by Central Minnesota Access TV Channel 6, Jerry Abraham and company. Oh. And she touched the net. Yep. Actually, she went over the line. Yes, right? yeah. your foot can be on the line, but if it's over, then it's. So Jen Ronnie gives mm -hmm. up a point. 6-6, six, six, Cathedral ties it up again. Number 23, my unknown soldier here for Cathedral. Oh, nice dig by nice. Vernick. She's got to put it over. Janushka. Harris, boom, Metalberg. Oh, and that's this is close. a set. Oh, Wait, what a beautiful play Wardarski. by Wardarski. Oh, and What nice. did she do? She's got it. Yep. I think the other team went into the net. I'm yes, waiting I, for the. You're right. Metalberg went into the net. Okay. Wardarski had that ball. Nice play by Steph. Now, Stephanie's definitely not a tall girl out there. She's probably 5'2. And she was like walking on a tight wire. <laughs> no know, kidding. Go not over. And here comes Noel Karowski. Noel with four aces already tonight. Karowski waiting for the signal for referee Chuck Clausen. And Clausen gives the go ahead. Karowski, oh, that's out of bounds. Oh, shoot. Hmm. She uh, just, a lot of power on yeah, that. Yeah, that's um, the thing with those jump serves. I mean, they're not as consistent, but yep. you'll get more aces. And you can't, they really spin a lot, but they kind of go out of bounds sometimes. Number 13 with the ball. Number 15, excuse me, that's Sarah Winchell. Winchell with a nice deep serve. Ronning puts it over the net, set. Boom. Nice kill try by number 17, Jackson. And out of bounds by Little Falls is number 17, Pullman. So, Cathedral taking an 8-7 lead. It's still tight. It's been back and forth every game. Every game has been tight. 8-7, Cathedral up. Oh, there's And a out break. of bounds serve by number 15, Sarah Winchell gives a point to Little Falls. Tie in the game, 8-8. Back to serve, Jennifer Ronning for Little Falls. Ronning, good serve by Ronning. She's oh, a nice junior. Block. And guess who? Oh. 
Metalberg with a nice kill try. Oh, and Kendra Pullman hits her right into the net. She wanted to kill that one. Boy, That's just didn't get up high enough, and she yep. was back a little too far. But that's what they got to do. They got to start putting that ball down hard. We're kind of just boop, pap, yep. tapping it back. Number 17 serving for Cathedral, Maggie Jackson. Good deep serve. And Siska puts it in the back court. Harris, Januszka just taps it over the net. Noel Krauski. Back to Kendra Pullman. Januszka again. No kill time that time. Katie Schulte has the ball blocked. Oh, back no. over the net. Oh, oh and another Metalberg. <coughs> she right fanned on that, but she still got it over. <coughs> yes. 10 to 8. Cathedral takes a two point lead. Another cop drop for me. Yes, Sorry. have a cop drop. You just keep taking them. Just turn your, <coughs> turn your headset down when you cough into oh. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Out of bounds. Nice play by Harris to keep that ball in play. <coughs> Wardarski, Schulte tips it over. Boy, Katie Schulte with a nice tip, but Metalberg trying to put it away for Cathedral. Back to Wardarski. Pullman, boom, with a nice kill. Back to Januszka. Puts it in the hands of Vernig, and Vernig <coughs> cannot handle it. And Little Falls down again. Having a little trouble with uh, Jenna Januszka and her deep, deep kills. Number 17, Maggie Jackson serving. Oh, and Emily Suska kind of lost control of that, and uh, point for Cathedral. 12 to eight, Cathedral up by four. Tough break for a little falls right there. Back to Suska oh, again. Oh, shoot. And uh, they're, they're looking at that spot. Emily's just having a little trouble with that serve yep. return. That spin on there. Mm -hmm. Good spin, too, by Maggie Jackson. Two points in a row for Jackson. Third one coming back in. Kurowski picks this one up to Wardarski. Oh. with a big block. And guess who? Jenna Januszka, 16 points tonight. Januszka, timeout called by Little Falls, and it's a 14 to 8 third oh. game here. So Leanne, uh, Cathedral kind of taking control of this whole match right now. And their setting and killing has been incredible. It's just been right on. Like I said, experience, they're older, but it's they kind of know where everyone's going to be. They know where they're going to drop it. It's, they do. They're playing a very well, well game, and they don't give up. They just keep working at it, working at it. Little Falls making that adjustment on the serves. Definitely. Uh, making sure that we can get somebody getting that back. Emily having a little trouble with mm -hmm. some of those serves. But down by six and down two games to none, what is Coach Johnson telling them right now? She's telling them. Keep talking, you gotta talk, 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 communicate, because a couple times they've hit and there's been two girls in one spot and get some blocks on those ladies. We gotta pass, pass, pass. And the timeout is just about over here in the third game of this best of five Little Falls Flyers versus the Cathedral Crusaders out of St. Cloud. Uh, one of the great educational institutions in central Minnesota. And uh, this is gonna become a big rivalry. St. Cloud Cathedral, <laughs> And Little Falls in baseball <laughs> has become a huge rivalry. Little Falls mm. just losing out to Cathedral this year going to state. Oh. Wodarski, Katie Schulte with a nice kill try, but taken back by Cathedral. Oh. And guess what? Januszka with her 17th point tonight. Oh my goodness. She is on fire. Jenna Januszka puts uh, Cathedral up 15 to seven. Big eight point lead here. Another serve by number 17, Jackson. Pullman. Back roll, dig. Oh. And Metalberg again. Riley Metalberg is just hounding Little Falls at the net with those kills. 16 to 8. Substitution Wardarski or Laura Ferdin come Ferdin coming in for Steph Wardarski. That'll add some height. Oh no. And can they do this substitution? Coach Johnson is uh <clears throat> saying that she's going to sub, but she's got to sub for Suska. So Laura Fergine in for Emily Suska. Coach Johnson trying to get Steph Wardarski out of the game, wanted to keep Emily in. Did not happen. 16-8. to eight. Little falls down here, two games to nothing, and they're down by eight in the third game. Vernig with a nice dig. Karowski puts it over, and that went in. It's... Boy, Noel just had a lot of spin on that, and Cathedral was kind of confounded by it. 16 to nine. 
Laura's just a little confused because she's that's not her position. That, right. Yeah. And, so uh, she, can you explain what happened? Or I don't get the. Um, I believe you can only sub in for the same person, and she put Laura to go in for her, and okay. she can't. And I don't know. Does that explain? Yeah, no. it makes sense because you <laughs> got to sub when you're in. Coaching, you can, unless you're libero. Can the libero sub in for the? Yeah, the libero can. Yeah, and the libero can go in for different people. Got but it. everybody else has to kind of go in for the same person. Well, for Gein with a nice kill shot there. And Januszka returns the favor set by Wardarski. And Katie Schulte just can't put it over the net. And Little Falls is down by nine, 18 to nine in this third game of the best of five. Oh, Metalberg, and, and that counts over because yes. it went over. Yep. Metalberg with a nice serve. Ooh. Boy, Kendra Pullman with a beautiful kill, but blocked. They got it. Oh, yeah. And another one. Oh, it's tight. Oh, nice job Janet Janouska could not handle that that time, and Laura Fergin put it over. Yeah, she's playing some outside now. Get a little used to that position. Yeah. 18 to 10, Little Falls down by eight here, and Kendra Pullman to serve. Big hitting Kendra Pullman. Oh. Out of bounds. Boy, nice spin on that, but no good. Yep. 19 to 10. Little Falls uh, trying desperately not to lose this match. And uh, Brooke Finch trying to come in. Referee lets her in, and she's replacing Laura Fergine this time. And Brookie's in her right position. Right yeah, now. that'll be her right position. Okay, so uh, 19 to 10 here, late in the third game of a best of five match between the Cathedral Crusaders out of St. Cloud and the Little Falls Flyers. And Little Falls, things aren't going too well for them right now. Nice kill by Kurowski and Januszka coming back. Number 19 for her. Wow. Jenna Januszka is just running the floor. Uh, Metalberg has been fantastic at the net on serving. Sophie Harris, three aces. Cathedral's got the complete package here tonight. Harris puts it in. Wardarski, big oh. kill try, out of bounds then. Boy, That's Noel Kurowski, I mean, she that has got she has got a great vertical and she's got a great kill shot. She's got a lot of arm speed, that's for sure. 20 to 11, Little Falls down by nine. Harris, Januszka oh, puts it over no. and that's it right there. That's number just, 20 uh, for, her, for uh, Januszka. The coverage. I'm just gonna make a note of that so I remember. 20 points by Januszka. 21 to 11, boy, Little Falls in danger of dropping this three straight. And there's an ace. That's 21 points for Januszka. That's her third service ace. 22-11, they're doubling up little falls here. <clears throat> Januszka, big serve. Vernig, back to Kurowski. Oh. Brookie Finch has got to put it over right yeah. into the hands of number 15, Sarah Winchell. 23-11, Leanne, it's uh, I timeout just, yeah. time. Just and I guess the girls just have to just calm down and play the game. Right. Because they're just not playing like they're cape, you know. It's just not their night, right. off night. And I, they've shown you know areas of coming back, and it's there. But you know, it's good to just, learn against a team like Cathedral oh, because yeah. they're doing things as a team really well. We mentioned that mm -hmm. hitting the ball where people aren't. Uh, Jenna Januska, 20 points alone tonight, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's going to go play somewhere. I Who wonder knows? if she's I a mean, senior. She we could find out from uh, Coach Glenda Prom. I do not know that. I would think Come she on, probably Dave. would be. I know I know everything. didn't do my research Come on, before. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Jenna Januska looking for number 21. Uh, 23 to 11. I'll just ask balls. Jerry at Morning Ball. We'll have to, have to talk to him how he's related. <laughs> and the timeout expires for Little Falls. That's their uh, last timeout, I believe. Yes, um, that's it. Yep, there's none yes. less on the scoreboard. Like the new scoreboard, Time they tell you left. everything. Yeah, it's, amazing. it's like texting T O L. Jenna Januszka <laughs> trying to put this away for St. Cloud Cathedral, 23 to 11. Let's see what she can do. Little Falls readies. Januszka up. Big try by Zimmerman, and they've got to just put it over. Jen Ronning. Nothing to set up there. Number 15, Winchell. Good recovery by Little Falls. Noel Kurowski. Puts it in, but Harris has it back. Oh! Up, number 17, though, Maggie Jackson puts it out of bounds. 
23-12, little falls down. And uh, Emily Suska is going to serve here. Emily, a little rough night tonight. Em, nice serve though by Suska. Yeah. And there's a carry. Oh yeah, carry. Yeah, carry the ball. Okay. Yep, uh, that was a good call by the ref. She carried, definitely carried that ball. 23-13, Little Falls down by 10. Emily, nice serve. Harris. Boy, there's a oh big, boy. big play, and she's got it. That's number uh, 17, Maggie Jackson. Yep. It's a match point here. Little Falls is getting up on the block. They're just not turning their hands. Yeah, it looks like they're pushing hands backwards rather than putting them over. Number 23, our nameless uh, St. Cloud Cathedral girl. I do not have her name. And Little Falls. Oh, wow, nice Noel shot. puts it where nobody Perfect. was. 24 14, so they mm -hmm. hang on. 10 point lead. And back in the game, Kendra Pullman out. Uh, Zimmerman, Tristan Zimmerman. Kurowski with a big serve. Five aces for Noel tonight. A big bright oh, spot. Oh, kill that. Oh, Aye. big setup. Nobody there. Wardarski. <laughs> There's Kendra. Kendra Pullman, what a oh. dig by number 23 for Cathedral. That's what she needs to do. Wow. Yes. Kendra Pullman was back four feet from the net when she killed that. Definitely. She was looking like Betty. 24-15. <laughs> and a big serve by Kurowski. Got to put it over. Cathedral has no chance for a kill here. Wardarski kind of fakes Ooh, out running. Yes. She does wow. it. Wow, Little Falls is coming alive. They're doing some of the things that Cathedral's been doing to them all they night. Have. Now, did you notice on the far side of the court, too, there was nobody where Ronnie hit the ball, mm -hmm. which is what you're right. Uh, yeah, thank doing you, that. thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh and just why did I puts say it away, that? And that's the game. Oh. Well, Little Falls uh, dropping three here tonight. Uh, dropping the first one 17-25, 22-25, and losing the third one 16-25. Wow, so Leanne, uh, any thoughts on tonight? What can Little Falls do? They drop in the conference. They drop their record now to uh, seven and 17. Cathedral improving now to 13 and eight. They certainly could meet again in the second. Oh, so. and if they do, I, I believe it'll be a whole different story. I think Coach Johnson will take this. The girls will watch the tape, learn from it, because it'll be a really good, you know what I mean? Where they should be, what they're doing, yep. and it'll be a different, Batch. Well, and I think learning from what Cathedral was doing, putting mm -hmm. the ball where people weren't. Jenna Janushka, I have her down for 21 total points tonight. On the Little Falls side, uh, big honors to Noelle Krauski, five ace serves. Very nice job by her. That's probably the brightest spot of the night for everybody on the Little Falls team. Dropping three in a row. I know Coach Johnson doesn't like to hear that, but they're coming back. They can do it again, and let's see what happens at the Grand Ridge Conference. This rivalry will continue in other sports, too. Yes, definitely. They just got to come tomorrow ready to practice, and Thursday is a new match. Well, Leanne and I will be back next Tuesday, Tuesday. night, Little Falls Volleyball, the last volleyball broadcast on TV. We can only do two this year. I want to thank our great crew tonight on our cameras, uh, Shelby Neuter and Alex Warzeka, Rick Wogan and Brandon Harnack up in the booth. We've got River Stump, Phoenix Weiss, Emily Donaski, Eric Van Ark, Jerry Abraham up there too. We do appreciate your uh, sponsorship and viewership of us, Jerry Abraham. My partner, Karen Warner, and I thank you. And for Leanne Grasso, we want to say good night. Thanks for watching Flyer Media Productions, <coughs> Little Falls Volleyball versus Cathedral. Little Falls dropping three straight, dropping their record to seven and 17, and St. Cloud Cathedral improving to 12, uh, 13 and eight. This is Dave Gertz along with Leanne Grasso for Flyer Media Productions. We'll see you again next Tuesday right here from the Flyer Gymnasium. Good night, everybody. Good night.